So let's see if this thing will do what it's supposed to do. So today we have the new hung cordless chainsaw. Be careful with these if you decide to look into this and get one of these. Instead of a hard shell case, it's just a standard bag. A screwdriver, two 21 volt max lithium. Now it also comes with a wrench. Pretty much this is probably gonna to be to adjust the chain and I'm assuming that just like all chainsaws, you will be constantly adjusting the chain on this thing. Now we come with a chain, the battery charger that goes with it, and one completely assembled baby saw. One chain is already installed, safety lever that folds out of the way as you're cutting through something. This is only the four inch version. I bought this specifically with the intention of trimming things that are two to three, at the most four inches, but really more two to three inches, limbs and branches on trees that I just wanna go out, zip one off real fast and be done. I'm going to assume looking at things that it goes like this. Now it looks like it has a safety switch on the side that let's see, yep, can't push it. So now let me push the safety switch in and button actually will auto hold. Like if I, while I have that pushed in, it actually stays until you pull it off. That's kind of interesting. Based on the design, it looks like this is intended to be a right hand model. Basically the button here for your thumb and then your trigger. However, you can actually use it in your left and use your finger to both push the side in and pull the trigger. For me, it's almost just as easy. Like this button doesn't require a lot of pushing at all. So technically, so yes, I can use it right or left-handed, but it looks like it is obviously designed to be a right hand only model. You've got your blade tensioner here to move your bar back and forth, your drive gear, the chain has teeth, sits inside of your track. So it basically is exactly like a regular chainsaw, just in a small portable version. Apply oil before each use. It can reduce the wear. It is recommended to choose the professional bar and chain oil. The hole for the screwdriver is actually like about the same size as the screwdriver, so this gets a little bit hung right there. This is definitely gonna be something that's adult only and someone who is experienced enough to know to keep the spinny part away from the fleshy part. So yeah, it just plugs directly into the battery. And I guess they did it on purpose. They plug it in a way that you can't plug it up without removing it from the sauce. So interestingly enough, there is not a single light on this thing. There is a light. It's not on the battery itself. It's on the charger. Red light, it is not fully charged. Green light it is fully charged. It needs to be charged two to three hours before the first use. You fold it out as a decent sized little nylon bag. It comes with an extra chain. The, the handle is a rubber grip. So uh, for me, uh, I don't have the biggest hands in the world. So for me, this fits my hand very well. It doesn't feel like it's about to fall apart. Everything feels sturdy. The power adapter that comes with it, I will say is kind of a little bit warm when it's running. So is it the hottest one I've ever held? No, but it does get a little bit warm. So this quality may not be as high as you would like. Uh, it is, however, a 110 slash 240 volt. I've got lumber with this thing. Is that a four by four? Yes, yes it is. How clean does it cut? I mean, we're not talking skill saw, but now, as I was talking, uh, the chain is starting to get loose. I need to tighten the chain up a little bit. Use your thumb to push that in a little bit. Okay. And then you push the other button. I don't have a lot of strength in my thumb. Yeah. So. I can do it, but I don't want to. <laughs> wonder if I can chop down a real tree. That is a rather... He cut the tree. That's a big tree with that little... 
I got attacked by a bug. I am amazed. <laughs> what if I can cut the lava? What if I can cut the PVC pipe? The blade still feels as sharp as it did when we first started. It's not an inferior chain. It's as good of a chain as is on a normal chainsaw, it feels like. The teeth are small, itty bitty. Probably smaller than the smallest mm -hmm. chainsaw. Now that it's been used. What I bought it for, it does, it does it well, it does it quick. It, and if you throw in the amount of time it takes to get things ready, there is no time. It's like you keep a battery sitting on the charger and when you're done, you slap it on. So far, the only downside is the sheer fact that this thing is scary. You may have noticed in the videos, I was doing my best. I made sure it was one hand. I was very rarely holding both hands on this thing because I didn't want this hand anywhere near that. If that worries you, and for some people it should, they make a lopper version of these things, uh, not by these companies. Like this. Those look like loppers where it's actually completely, the blade is kind of completely shrouded by these protective guards and you open it like a pair of loppers and you cut and then that's when you actually do the cutting. We'll leave a link below to that one as well, just in case you want to look into that one for safety, but we'll also leave the links to these. And if you look at this one, there's a ton of other ones out there. Most of them look the same. I can't speak to the quality of the others. This one I have in my hands. The others are probably fairly close. I do not regret buying it. I would buy it again. Now, I'm not sure how long the battery is going to actually last. Uh, everything you just saw, we were out there for almost 30 minutes cutting off and on straight, and she's still going strong. Nothing was slowing down. So I don't know just how long the battery will last, but I had no issues. Uh, also quality, who knows how long this thing will last, uh, but it, it feels good. And if you want to like follow along, this will be getting used through some future videos here because I'm going to be using it a lot cleaning up these woods. So He's going to use this. <laughs> I'm going to use a mess out of this thing. <laughs> and as always, if you enjoy watching this and think you might want to follow along with our other stuff, feel free to subscribe, like, share, you know, go down and click the donate $1 million button in case you're like just super rich and bored. And, and wanna... you want to super thank us. Yeah, you know, I could always use a million dollars. <laughs> Yeah, if we had a million dollars, we wouldn't need to buy the... Yeah, I wouldn't be behind the $50 version. I would have bought like the $250 version. <laughs> now, we mentioned that we uh, I'm going to be using this to clean the woods out. If you actually want to follow along with what it looks like when I'm cleaning the woods out, you can watch this video over here. And if that's not the one you see, then it'll be the one where the power washer also surprised me at how well a dinky little electric thing actually can work.